My name is Irma. And my name is Julie Seidel, and I welcome you on behalf of the California State Park System to the Santa Cruz Mission State Historic Park, where we're doing a video series on Adobe Connections. Today we're going to be dropping you into a timeline of the three historic adobes that are all in state parks in our county and starting here in the 18th century because at that time Alta California was part of New Spain, the 14th colony. And starting in 1769, 21 missions were established all the way up to Sonoma. Santa Cruz was the 12th mission established in 1791, and by 1824, this building was completed. Now, it's the oldest building in our county. And it was homes for neophyte families, for the indigenous people who lived here who had been converted. But of course, people think of a mission, they often think of a church, and there was a church here. But along with this building, there were probably 33 buildings up here on Mission Hill during the height of the mission's timeline in the 1830s. There was a convento for the Padre, there were workshops and um, storage spaces, there was a cookhouse and residences, and Mission Hill wasn't even the end of the mission because the boundaries of the mission went on to cover uh, the Pajaro River was the original southern boundary of the mission in Watsonville all the way up to Año Nuevo and the boundaries of the mission went inland for eight miles. So this mission, like all of them, covered a vast swath of land. And that land included uh, pastures and orchards, field crops and cowboy or vaquero outposts. There were four vaquero outposts for the Santa Cruz mission at Año Nuevo, at Scotts Valley, at Coralitos, and at Wilder Ranch. Tune in to the next episode of Adobe Connections and get introduced to the Bolkoff Adobe.